Here's how to fold Nick Robinson's rhombic unit, which can be used to make a silver rhombic dodecahedron. You need to start with an A4 piece of paper, um, or any size in the A series will work. It won't work uh, with letter or full scap paper, it needs to be A4 paper. So you begin by folding it in half, but not all the way. Line it up and then just mark where the centre of those two uh, sides is. I find it useful to turn it over so that the fold is pointing upwards, so that the shadow of it is easier to see uh, where that fold is. Now we're going to fold each corner into the opposite centre. So that's four folds. Okay, so now we have uh, all of these diagonal folds facing upwards. We now want to fold each side, the short edge, into the centre, like this. Because it's going to make our job easier a little later, we're going to fold those same ones that we just did in the opposite direction. And we want to turn it back so that our diagonal folds come upwards. Now, I usually take the bottom right corner. Um, you can do it this way, but if you want to make a rhombic dodecahedron, you want to make sure they're all the same direction. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to fold this edge inwards like that. But I'm only going to press it up to here. And you'll notice there's a fold just here. We want to move that so that it is along that same edge and press it down. Okay, we want to do it on the other side. I'm just going to let that open for a bit. We'll fold it back again in a minute. We're going to bring this over. Then we're going to take this edge and press it down to the edge we just made, and then we're going to press that down. So now we have these two things pre-folded, we want to sort of slot them into each other. So this edge will go underneath the opposite one, and it will go inside each other like this. Okay, so if you turn it over you can see this bit that sticks out. We're going to fold that over so that it's nice and secure, and over this side as well. And now you can see this lovely uncreased uh, rhombus and there's some creases just here. We're going to fold them backwards away from the nice um, flat rhombus. The other side you'll see has um, a gap in the middle. We don't want that side on the outside, we want this on the outside. And there's our rhombic unit. It has a nice flat rhombus here of the correct shape to make a silver rhombic dodecahedron. It has some flaps at the end and some pockets in which to put the flaps. So if we take another one that we might have folded already, you can slot the sides in like that and they can fit together neatly like that. So it might be possible to put four um, at the pointy ends and three uh, at the wide ends um, and eventually make your rhombic dodecahedron.